At 58. Nah, give me verse 60. Uh, give me verse 64. The free death. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord will scatter you among all people. When they took us from Africa, the landmass of what they call Africa, from Sierra Leone, Timbuktu, when they took us from there, where they scatter us? Did, it, did we only come here or did we go to the Caribbean also? Did we go to Haiti? Huh? Did we go to England? Did we go to France? Did we go to Spain? Where we went? We got scattered among all nations. That never happened in the Holocaust. They killed them in the land and they died and went to poverty in their own land by their own nation. Hitler was Jewish, Caucasian. They want to make you believe that there's a separation in Caucasians. All Caucasians are the same. It's not like us and Africans, us and Pakistanis, us and Arabs. We different, even though we brown skin. It's different. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. You're going to serve other gods. See that God over there? The God that they call Jesus? The God that they call God? You're going to serve that God. They're going to make you go to church on Sunday. That's the only day you off you're going to have during slavery. You want to have a day off? You got to go to church. And it got to be on Sunday. And they got to be taught by our pastor, which is a black guy. Uh, what was that brother's name? Um, forget his name. Yeah, Josiah Hanson. Reverend Josiah Hanson, the first black Sunday preacher, taught us this nonsense, that Jesus is white. And then you went into slavery because you're the slave of all slaves. They taught that nonsense, man. Yo, grab me the synagogue of Satan when you get a chance. That's the nonsense that go on. Let me get that. This book is called The Synagogue of Satan. Right? I got this off Amazon. You can probably get this anywhere. I'm going to read something out of here that shows you why we think that we're African. But read on. Which ne neither thou nor thy fathers have known. We ain't never know these gods at all. We never served these gods in this book. We never did that. Read on. Even wood and stone. Even what? Even wood and stone. Tell me what the Christianity cross is made out of. Wood. Tell me what the what the Arab God worship spot is made out of. What is it made out of in Mecca? Stone. Those are the two religions that plague our people the most. Islam and Christianity. Come on. It plagues our people. Modern Christianity is not the Christianity in which Christ left at all. It is not. Christ did not deal with Sunday worship, man. Christ, Christ wasn't even Caucasian. He didn't have long hair as it was perm like a woman. That came from other. That came from a different nation, man. Read me. Start here. Let's read that. Interestingly, the Jewish Talmud is a problem of the race of the races Hamitic men. So this right here, this is telling you, right? The Jewish Talmud, which is a book in which the Jewish people read out of, they are the ones, they are the proponent of the racist Hamitic myth. They taught us that we were Africans. The Jewish people did that. The ones that brought you over here on slave ships and had you in the field picking cotton. They taught you that you was African. Read on. A subject on which former employees of the Simon with Weisenthal Center, Harold Grothman, wrote the following in a doctoral dissertation entitled The Ebb and the Flow of Com uh, Conflict, the History of Black-Jewish Relations through 1900. So this is a book that a Jewish man wrote. And he's going to tell you what they believe in according to the, the Babylonian Talmud, which is what they read. Believe it or not, Jewish people don't deal with the Torah all the time. They read the Kabbalah and the Jewish Talmud. Let's see what he quoted in his book from the Talmud. Read on. There's no denying that the Babylonian Talmud was the first source to read a Negrophobic content. This was the first book to read Negrophobic content. Read on. Into the episode by stressing Canaan 
uh, fraternal connections with Kush. So they say that Canaan and Kush are the same, but they calling us Canaan and they calling us Kushites, right? The more important version of the myth, however, it in uh ingenuously, ingeniously ties into the origin of blackness and of other real and imagined Negro trait with Noah curse himself. With now, so they they saying that this book, the Babylonian Talmud, is showing you how when Noah cursed um, Ham and told him you're gonna be the slave of all slaves, they tying that in with us because Cush is dark skin. They were the first people to do that. Right, read on. Now check this out. Read. According to it, Ham is told by the outraged father that because he have abused me in the darkness of night. Because you abuse me in the darkness of night, Ham, right? Your children shall be born black and ugly. Black and what? Black and ugly. That's what they call us, black and ugly. So they're trying to say that being black is a curse in the Babylonian taboo. Read on. Because you have twisted your head to cause the, me embarrassment, they shall have kinky hair and red eyes. That's why our hair grows like that according to Jewish people. We will have kinky hair. We're going to have nappy hair and red eyes. So not only is being black a curse, but your hair is a curse now too. And your eyes. Read. Because your lips just did have my exposure. They, they, they shall swell. And because you neglected my nakedness, they shall go naked with their shamefully, shamefully elongated Male member. So because we, because we, quote unquote, as Ham father, because as because we didn't cover Noah in the tent, they call us Ham. Because of that, we gonna have bigger lips and our elam our elongated male members. They're just jealous. They wanna go say that that's a that that's a curse. Let a white woman lay down with a black man. She ain't what lay. That's where the phrase come from. Once you go black. They ain't never going back. So, they call us a curse. That, that Listen, that's the nonsense that they teach it, man. And, and like I said, you can pick this book up anywhere. The synagogue of Satan. And you know where they get this phrase from? It's actually in the Bible. The synagogue of Satan. Um, stay in Deuteronomy for me. Uh, grab me Revelations. Um, but keep Luke. Sorry, bro. I'll throw that down over there. Two or We're gonna let Christ say it. So that's not just us that believe that they're the synagogue of Satan. The whole world knows it now. And if you do a little research, you'll realize that the people that call themselves Jews today are not the Jews of the Bible. Read that for me. Revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter two, verse nine. I know thy work and tribulation and poverty. And what? And poverty. I know your poverty. Read on. But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. So Christ is saying here, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. So if I call myself a Jew and I can't prove it, that makes me a blasphemer. Read on. But are the synagogue of Satan. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. That's why that book is titled what is titled. They are the synagogue of Satan. They are not Jews. They are not. It's impossible. They do not fulfill any of the curses. They never had a yoke of iron put on their neck. They never served other, they never served any other gods, wood or stone. They are not Jews. They are Jewish. Ish is a suffix. Okay? It means of, pertaining to or resembling a Jew. It does not mean is a Jew. It's like being blackish or redish or childish or foolish you may be 75 years old and you're acting childish that means you're acting childlike that's all it means you're not a fool you acting foolish you're acting like one so if somebody's Jewish they acting like a Jew yeah we all lost child of Israel how you know that? I seen you no you never seen me <laughs> you ain't never seen us yeah, read that for me. Give me a verse, um... Where you at, 64? Give me verse 65. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 65. 
And among these nations shall thou find no eat. And amongst all these nations, the Arabs that sell you pork and they don't eat it. The Chinese people that sell you Chinese food that you ain't never seen them eat. Brother, you never go into a store, see a brother eating General Tosso's chicken behind the counter with an egg roll on the side. Never see a brother eating broccoli and chicken, whatever they call that white meat, that, 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 uh, that spongy white meat. You don't see them eating that. Shrimp fried rice and chicken wings. You don't see them eating that stuff, man. They sit down with a bowl with wonton soup or something. Or they got some 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 broccoli and some asparagus there. Little dumpling on the side. That's what they eat. Read on. Neither shall the sole of, the, of thy foot have rest. And you will have no rest on your feet. You're going to be up 12 hours a day. Feel like you work 24 hours. First thing your parents do when they get home, Brother, yo, let me just sit down and take my shoes off. It's the first thing. Your feet will have no rest in this land. You will work forever until you get a pension. And your pension, it might do you some good. Maybe. But you can't live in, a, you can't live in New York with no pension. You got to go down south. That's why you see if you retire, we go to Florida. We go to Georgia. We go to the south. We go to middle America. Because you cannot, you cannot, you barely are provided for your family working full time. What you going to do on a pension? Your feet will have no ease here. Read on. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. You're going to be scared. Every time you come out in your car, you got to worry about getting pulled over. Every time you walk down the block, you got to worry about fitting the description. You, you got, you're going to be in fear here. You ain't going to live peacefully. Read on. And failing of eyes. And failing of eyes. You're going to be you're gonna be looking down the whole time like, man, I'm tired of seeing this stuff, man. Tired of seeing my brothers get locked up. Tired of seeing my women in spandex like his pants. Read on. A sorrow of mine, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And your life will hang in doubt before you. You'll never know if you're going to make it home when you go out. Brothers go to the club. You're gambling. You don't even know if you're going to go home. Brothers go into this Jay-Z concert. What if somebody do something silly? Set up a firecracker in the Jay-Z concert. Everybody going to be running, trampled, thousand people dead. Your life hangs in the balance here. You do things to put your life in the balance. Skydiving. You want to do it because you see everybody else do it. Read on. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. And shall have none assurance of thy life. And you ain't going to have no assurance of your life. Ain't nobody can tell you you're going to make it here tomorrow. But it be like, yo, next year I'm going to be doing this. But you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow. So about next year. And every year come, brothers like, yo, this is my year. Every year, if every year is our year, why are we still on the bottom? Because we won't submit to the, the, the righteousness of the Most High. Get rid of Sunday worship and Easter bunny rabbits laying eggs and December 25th. Now, if you can prove that stuff with the Bible, do it. If you've seen Christ do it, do it. If Christ never did it, stay away from it. Give me verse 68. You got Luke 21? Okay, read that for me. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. With what? With shit. We're going to go back into Egypt again by way of a ship. Now, like the sister said earlier, we walk out of Egypt. There is no biblical history in this book of us going back into Egypt a second time by way of a ship. Especially since Egypt and Israel is connected. You can walk in and walk out. We did that our whole time. All the times we lived in Israel, we walked into Egypt and walked out. There is no biblical proof in this book of us going back into Egypt by way of a ship. The word Egypt, when you translate it in Greek, it means bondage or slavery. You're going to go back into bondage, slavery, by way of a ship, right? If it's not by way of a ship, we're going to keep reading. Tell me who this identified. Read on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So you ain't going by, by way of ship into slavery again. You ain't going to see your homeland again. That's it. Once you hit American soil and Trinidad and Guyana and Barbados and the Bahamas and Jamaica and Trinidad, once you hit those lands, that's it. France and Europe, you ain't seeing your homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And there we shall be what? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Where was a nation sold to their enemies at? Here. You will be sold off of a ship to your enemies. As what? For bondmen. For a slave man, read. And bond women. Which is a slave woman. 
slave men and slave women sold off of a ship. Now this was prophesied thousands of years before we actually went into slavery. All this time, the Most High was giving us a chance to change. And we did it. We kept serving other gods. The ones that listened to Christ in 70 AD, they fled. And then when they fled, they went back to doing the same thing again. So we kept falling. Give me Luke 21. Let me get Christ prophesying the same thing in Deuteronomy, telling you that it's going to happen. Uh, give me 21, start at verse... Yeah, start at verse 20. Luke chapter 21, verse 20. And when, and when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation therefore is nigh. When you see Jerusalem come past with Roman armies, the Romans were Caucasian. Is that racism or is that the truth? Caesar, Caucasian. Augustus, Caucasian. Vespasian, Titus, Caucasian. Look it up. Type in the names. Tell me if you get a black face. They're from Idumea. Idumea is Esau. Esau is Edom. Same nation. Do we hate Esau? We don't hate him. Read on. Verse 21. Then let them which are in, uh, in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them which are in the midst of, of it depart out. So if you in Jerusalem flee when you see Rome compassing your nation with armies. Get out of Jerusalem. Read on. And let not them that are in the countries enter thereinto. And whoever's in the countries, don't let them come into this place because they're going to die for your sins. Read. But these be the days of vengeance. These be the days of happiness. For these be the days of vengeance. These are the days of vengeance. Meaning, whatever you did before, now I am going to take vengeance on you for everything that your foreparents did and you did without changing. Read on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. That everything that's written in all of these books, everything here, may be fulfilled. Everything has to be fulfilled. Read on. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. That means the Romans gonna kill you. Your own people gonna kill you. Read on. And shall be led away captive into all nations. They're going to be led away captive to Germany. And they shall be led away captive in all nations. They're going to flee into Russia. And shall be led away captive into all nations. You will be led away captive into all nations. Tell me that happened to a Jewish man. He was led away captive into all nations. Made to be a servant, a captive, a slave, a bondman or a bondwoman. That never happened to them. Ever. And if anybody can tell me that they got a part of history with that happening to them, please, I'm open. I'm, I'm willing to listen. Because I want the truth. I don't want no religion. I want to make it into the kingdom, whether I am a Jew or a Gentile. So I want to make it. It don't matter to me whether Christ is black or white. But the fact of the matter is, Christ is black. If he was white, I would still preach that you could gain salvation. But he ain't white. No way, no how, no way you're going to prove that. Then when you say Christ is black, you say, no, brother, Christ was olive color. How many olives are there on this earth? Black, green, and the brother told me the other day there's red olives. So we already know Christ is not red. So he can't be black because I said he's black, so he can't be black, so he must be green. I never meet a green man. Have you? I met a green man once. <laughs> So we gotta, we gotta bring some common sense to this book, man. We gotta remove the religion and get the common sense back. Because common sense ain't so common. Religion has dumbed our people down to the point where we don't know who we are. We don't know. And you won't accept the fact of who you are because being an Israelite has a duty. You can't just sit down and shut up and you can't just come to church. You gotta actively preach the word. Your way of life must be an example to everybody so that they can gain an understanding. Just me wearing my tassels have people ask me questions. Hey brother, what's that? Oh, well that opened up a way. Hey brother, we'll check it out. This means I'm a child of Israel. The blue strand means that I'm supposed to remember to keep the commandments. Let me show you what chapter and verse that is. Let me show you how you were Israelite. Let me show you what you're supposed to do if you're a Gentile according to the scriptures. Uh, Grammy Romans 1 and 16. Grab me um, Hebrews 8. 
It is. Read that for you. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am now ashamed of the gospel of Christ. We're not ashamed of it. I am not ashamed of Christ. I'm not ashamed of my heritage. I am blessed to have this. I could have been born a Gentile, but I wasn't. The most I chose me to be an Israelite. Read. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To who that believeth? To everyone that believeth. So here go to everybody. It is the power of salvation to everyone that believeth. What's the order? Read. To the Jew first. To who first? To the Jew first. To the Jews first. That's the New Testament. Read on. And also to the Greek. So it goes Jew first, then Greeks. Get two and nine. Romans chapter 2 verse 9 Tribulation and anguish Upon every soul of man that doeth evil Tribulation and anguish to every soul of man Everybody that does evil Read Of the Jew first Of us first Because we got the commandments Read And also of the Gentiles And also of the Gentiles Because if we being a light to the Gentiles And they decide to go off Tribulation and anguish to them first To, um, to us first and then to them second Excuse me Read on But glory Glory Honor, honor, and peace. And peace to who? To every man that worketh good. Of the Jew first. Of who first? Of the Jew first. To us first. Read on. And also to the Gentile. That's the order. Anybody break that order, you're dealing with the God of confusion. Jew first, then Gentile. Gentiles can definitely gain salvation. That's what we're here for. Grab me Acts 13 and 47. Read that for me. 8 and 8. Shalom, bro. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. With the house of who? With the house of Israel. I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Covenant means agreement. I'm going to make a new agreement with the house of Israel. And what else? And with the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. That agreement comes to us. Jew first. Then if the Gentiles want to grab on to that understanding, fine. But we're not going to be making it seem like Gentiles can't gain salvation. That would be racist. Of course a Gentile can gain salvation, but you ain't going to call me an African and expect me not to tell you who you are. Read that for me. Acts chapter 13, verse 47. For so had the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles. That's our duty, to be a light to the Gentiles, to teach Caucasians, to teach Arabs, to teach Africans, to teach everybody that wants the truth in Christ. Be a light to the Gentiles, Israel. Not hating everybody and cursing out your own complexion and calling women B-words and you claim to be of God. Read. That thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. We're supposed to be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. That's our duty, man. Anybody coming up? 9.30. Grab me up. Grab me 1 John 2 and 3. And then give me Ecclesiastes. Um, Ecclesiastes. Um, 12 and 14 and Joshua 24. Yeah. yeah, read that for me. Verse John chapter 2, verse 3. And I hereby we do know that we know him. This is how you know you know Jesus. Read on. If we keep his commandments, we live under grace. If we keep his commandments, that's how you know you know Christ. You know the real Christ if you keep his commandments. Read on. He that saith, I know him. And keep him not his commandments. Anybody talking about they know Jesus and they don't keep his commandments? What are they? It's a liar. What are they? It's a liar. You are a liar. How you know Christ and you don't keep the commandments? That makes you a liar. And what else? And the truth is not in him. And you don't have no truth in you. How you know Christ and you don't keep the commandments? What kind of nonsense is that? Well, I know Jesus. I'm under grace. You. You all know my, you all know my Lord and my Savior. Then he'll kill you. You don't want Christ to reign over you? Bring him hither. Slay them before me. That's what Christ said. Yeah, read me that Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 
Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and live under grace. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God, keep his commandments. Read on. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. You want the meaning of life? Fear God, keep his commandments. Amen. That is the whole duty of man. That's right. One of his commandments is to keep the Sabbath day holy. Not to eat pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster. Not to go to church on Sunday or celebrate Christmas or Halloween or Thanksgiving or Easter. Those are his commandments. Give me Joshua 24. Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the God which your fathers served on the other side of the flood. Put away Jehovah, man. Put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood. Jehovah was on the other side of the flood. Yahweh. Y-H-W-H. That God fell from heaven. We don't deal with that, that perverse God. That God of ruin. That God of calamity. That God of iniquity. We don't deal with that God. Read on. And in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. If you think it's evil to keep the commandments, read. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. Today is the day that you get to choose. While we standing out here. If we wrong, go home, pray the Most High to give you understanding. Or ask us a question. And through the power of the Most High. And His Scripture and His Spirit. will give you an understanding according to Scripture. Not according to personal feeling. I will never tell you how I feel. And my brothers will do the same. They ain't going to tell you how they feel. Or what they think. Or what they would do. I'm going to tell you what Christ said. And if you either agree with Christ. Or you do not. I can't help you if you don't want to agree with Christ. Nothing I can do about that. Read on. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, but for us, read, we will serve the Lord. We're going to serve who? We're going to serve the Lord. We will serve the Most High. I don't know about everybody else that go to church tomorrow, but we're going to serve the Most High today. In sincerity and in truth. We're not going to deal with this Sunday worship nonsense. That's not in the Bible. We ain't going to deal with that. Where they eat pork and shrimp and crab and lobster and clams and mussels and calamari, which is octopus. We ain't going to deal with that nonsense. Catfish and shark. All that nastiness that you claim to be of God. Leave my Savior alone if you're going to do whatever you want to do. Follow the true power. Follow him. He'll get you about the situation you in. He got me out of mind. All praise is going to the Most High. Ahaya Ba'ashem Yeshaya Wa'avavah. That is, I am that I am in the Hebrew. The only name given to Moses according to Exodus 3, 13 through 15. I'm going to bring up the next powerful speaker. In the spirit of the Most High, Amen. Amen. All praise due unto the Most High. I thank the brother for bringing out some understanding and truth. Hopefully, to the wind, it reaches somebody else or, or somebody who wants to understand it. I want to say something real quick. As the brother was speaking, I realized people, regular people who are passing the streets, without asking us any questions, they assume that we are the other Israelites that you're so used to used to seeing around in the streets. Give me um, Acts 13 and 47. Give me Deuteronomy 23 and 7. People are so used to seeing Israelites and they they automatically um, associate us with those guys. One distinction that you can make is we don't wear no six-pointed stars. We don't wear no all black. Matter of fact, give me Ecclesiastes um, 8 and 9. Hold that. Or is it 9 and 8? That's the problem. People don't come up to ask us any question. And people talk so much about don't judge me this, don't judge me that. Why don't you test the spirit? Why don't you check to see if we them Israelites that you're so used to seeing? Let me see nine and eight. 
Huh? Step up a little bit. Um, you, I'm saying, you. Uh, me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this way.